to run our autopsy all right but uh, not installing into our window machine but we are running it through the Kali Linux inside the Oracle virtual box uh, machine virtual machine all right, so I have my Kali Linux here I'm using the 2019 of, uh, dot 4 okay uh, you can use any version you want for your class the reason why i run the 2019.4 is because i want the armitage linkage to the uh, metasploit framework all right then i just update the metasploit framework then it will be less work for me okay so my i will just do a lot of update uh, on the metasploit framework database okay but that's that's another story okay all right we are not going to cover that all right uh, you can watch all the other videos if you want okay you would be able to find your autopsy inside the forensic okay because autopsy is uh, a part of your forensic tool and you will actually find your autopsy here so i'm gonna just run this to show you what is going on and when you run this you will actually open up the terminal Right, which is your shell all right and look what happened here okay look what happened here okay there is one instruction over here open an html browser on the remote host and paste this url in it so you have the http colon slash slash uh local host all right then followed by the port number and autopsy and of course you keep this uh process running all right and use the control C to actually exit this terminal which I'm not going to exit right now all right I'm just gonna keep the process running but you will notice is if you go to another machine and you type this uh, URL in okay which is the HTTP colon slash slash localhost all right etc etc all right you can't find it okay you can't find it you can try okay but you can't find it okay then you will be trying to figure out is it because of the ip address or etc okay uh actually it's because you are running it inside the virtual machine okay the virtual machine is not exactly a part of your network okay it's not exactly a part of the network so how do you actually assess your uh autopsy then well the easiest way or right, if you are just playing around with it is go and hunt for your browser which usually should be somewhere inside the internet uh, i'm gonna use firefox since i'm used to firefox okay but uh you can decide what you want to run this one in okay all right i'll get rid of this because i don't need this okay and remember just now what we did http h TTP colon slash slash or right, it's not secure okay local host all right uh followed by colon then four nine 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 slash autopsy you see what happened here okay so instead of going to a uh so-called remote machine to run it just run it inside okay just run it uh inside your kali linux itself or right? and you become you work okay you can just uh okay i will just say okay open a new case give it a case number investigator name let's say lim oh sorry i can't have space all right lim jet we uh okay maybe this is case one all right uh, since it's an empty one just for class and you can create the case oh case one already exists okay uh all right case one already exists so i can go into the detail of this case one okay see the investigator the uh name all right etc okay then of course you can create uh new cases let's say if i don't want the case one let's say case two this should not give me any more error okay let's say clean jw okay fine and uh oops new case 
okay so you can see it's created and you have my name here you can add the host and uh, follow your materials okay that your trader or right, actually pass to you and you should be able to play around safely inside your virtual machine without having to worry so much about messing up or installing on your window all right so this should simplify uh, a lot of things for you okay all the best in your computer forensic study